There is a boat that's never been to sea. It has a captain, a man whose dream brought it to life. I have a dream. Ja želim s tim brodom plovit po svijetu. It's waited patiently for three decades, but time is running out. Help it sail under full sail and be a part of its magical story. This story happened in August 2014 in Croatia. But not here. Not here. Nor here. Our car broke down right here, in Novi Marov, a small town surrounded by lavender fields 150 miles from the coast. The timing belt in our Peugeot's engine snapped and we found ourselves stranded in the middle of nowhere on a Saturday evening with no mean of transport, no place to stay, and about 500 miles from home. But then, out of nowhere, a black jeep stopped by our car and a woman driving it asked if we needed any help. After a brief talk, she made a few phone calls and with a smile told us that the mechanic is on the way and not to worry about a place to stay because we could sleep at her parents' house. It was a miracle, the most improbable coincidence we've ever experienced. Ivana, the girl who saved us, invited us to her parents' house where we stumbled upon an unbelievable, magical story. Tony, her father, told us about the dream hid in the backyard. My father loved boats ever since he was a little boy. Uh, his biggest dream was to build one and sail around the world. And uh, he started building it and it's taken now nearly three decades. Half a century ago, building a boat wasn't an easy task and the poverty of a communist reality didn't exactly help. Uh, my dad grew up in Yugoslavia being very poor. He lost his dad uh, at a very young age, so he emigrated when he was 17. Uh, and he came back actually after 13 years and his dream was still in the back of his head and he decided to make it happen. Tony fought for his dream not only against the tough times, but also against physical impairments. My dad had serious health issues uh, ever since. He had to have uh, both hips replaced. Then he had to operate his knees. Uh, and after all that, he had a serious car accident where he damaged both of his legs, like again. Against all odds, armed only with his unbelievable willpower, he continued to build a boat capable of sailing the world. He built everything himself, down to the tiniest details. Woodwork, hydraulics, water management systems, mechanics, propulsion. All this with basic engineering, very inexpensive simple tools, the help of friends and knowledge acquired from magazines and books. He could never walk properly, he could never run ever in his life. He even had difficulty to sit properly. He had to put his leg under the chair and it was really awkward. But uh, he always wanted to sail. As if his health wasn't bad enough, years of working with mahogany and chemicals in a shed not suited for it led to further health damage. Last year we almost lost him. He was diagnosed with lung cancer and one of the lungs had to be removed and to this he still recovered. Against all odds he cheated death and though doctors don't know how, we do. He has to finish his boat and take it out to sea. We are certain we appeared in the life of the 70 year old captain for a reason. Our car could have broken down anywhere but it did right there right when Ivana was driving by. Tony and his family wouldn't accept money for all the help they gave us, letting us stay at their house for three days while our car was being fixed, finding a great mechanic that started the repairs on a Sunday just so we could be on the road faster, towing us for 10 miles to the garage, taking us to the lavender fields and showing us all around the beautiful surroundings. Tony helped us because he is a good man, and seeing how much the unfinished boat means to him, we decided to make this movie and prepare this campaign. We don't have the funds to help him, but we want nothing more than to see him sailing his dream.
The boat now needs a mast, sails, a coat of paint and several minor pieces of gear like winches or a GPS module. Up until now, everything could be done manually and was powered by determination. Here, however, is the line where the only factor is money. Tony is not able to overcome this obstacle. Neither are we. You are. If you do choose to help this man, thank you. You cannot imagine just how much this means to him.